This is uh, Dean Takahashi at VentureBeat. and I'm here with Eric Kai, an engineering manager at Google, and uh, we're at uh, your Native Client event here. So <laughs> tell us about Native Client. Uh, uh, so the... Native Client is technology that allows you to run native code inside mm -hmm. of a browser. Mm -hmm. So prior to this, uh, you know, most web applications were written in JavaScript and HTML. Mm -hmm. And JavaScript's been a great language, and we've been working hard to make it faster and faster over the years. Mm -hmm. But there's this great pile of existing code and existing knowledge and libraries and software that's been written mm -hmm. in native code. And mm -hmm. it turns out also that native code runs a lot faster on, because it runs directly in the CPU mm -hmm. than JavaScript. Mm -hmm. So basically, there are a And whole web games to date really have been pretty slow. Web apps, web, a web games, they're... they're well, it depends Did on the not application. say as, as speedy as things that can really take advantage of the, the hardware, right? The right. They're, they're, hardware they're, that, they're at right. least a layer above the hardware, so, so mm -hmm. they always have to go through that one extra layer of indirection. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. so by, by getting to run directly on the CPU, we're able to run applications much more quickly. Mm -hmm. but, the, but the biggest deal is, is really that there are all these existing code bases and this existing knowledge. And if mm -hmm. you look at, take for example, game developers. Mm -hmm. Now, game developers are developing on you know, game consoles and phones uh -huh. and PCs and uh -huh. all of their development tools and they're developing in native, native code, C uh -huh. and C++ and that sort of thing. So uh -huh. prior to the native client, in order to bring their application to the web, what they had to do is rewrite their app from scratch. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And, and at the end of the day, because JavaScript isn't as fast as native code, they'd probably have to make some compromises and remove uh -huh. features or make it, you know, and so, uh -huh. so it's a big investment for them to go do that. They have to invest in a new team and new knowledge and, uh -huh. you know, rewrite their code base. So now with native client, they're uh -huh. going to be able to take their existing software, uh -huh. port it over quickly and easily to native client, and then run in a browser. Uh, and Chrome. Now yeah, it's, it's exactly, <laughs> exactly. Uh, so uh, Chrome, uh, too, has, what, 200 million users now? Yep, and, yep, uh, yep, we're at, at more than 200 million users. Uh, so they get much more exposure to a, a wider audience <clears throat> of pos possible gamers or That's you know, right, whatever. that's right. It's mm -hmm. a big audience and growing very rapidly. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a whole other distribution channel for mm -hmm. them as well. So, it's, yeah, another way to, to make a lot more money, I guess, right? <laughs> sure, yeah, I mean, the Chrome uh, Web Store is mm -hmm. basically this, this direct link to Chrome users where they mm -hmm. can publish their app, Mm -hmm. and get discovered and, you know, get access to those users. Mm -hmm. So why are consumers going to like this more, too? Well, consumers yeah. are going to like this because there's going to be a ton of new interesting games and content coming to them mm -hmm. you know, in the Chrome Web Store. Mm -hmm. So because of the ease of porting now and, the, and the people being able to reuse their existing knowledge and infrastructure, mm -hmm. you know, a bunch of these games that were never going to show up on the web and these apps that were never going to show up on the web are suddenly going to show up. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, we're, we're, we're just seeing the tip of the iceberg at this event, you know, mm -hmm. but you already can see that there's some very powerful, very capable games. Mm -hmm. And you had the CEO of Square Enix, one of the, the biggest console game companies. Here yeah, exactly, well. exactly. And, uh, it was a real honor to have, to have mm -hmm. him here talking. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they're showing a demo of one of their games, but as you know, Square is a huge company with a great library of software, and mm -hmm. we're looking forward to seeing more of their titles mm -hmm. uh, over the coming months. And, and you've got maybe a dozen others here as well tonight, uh, so yep, yep. lots of uh, people have already And we're working with a bunch started. of other partners uh, throughout, the, throughout the year, so we expect mm -hmm. a lot more games to, and, and other uh, software to be put in the client over the, over the coming months. Cool. Thank you very much. That's Eric Kai from uh, Google. Thank you.